Sending people to the Moon and Mars requires understanding how to provide nutrition for astronauts who may be away from Earth for extended periods of time. One solution is growing food in space, which can be challenging. Scientists will send three types of leafy greens and a new way to handle seeds in space to the International Space Station. Launching from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, on Northrop Grumman's 13th resupply mission, the VEG-03 series of experiments will send a new crop, Amara mustard, to the orbiting laboratory. Red romaine lettuce and extra dwarf pak choy, which astronauts have grown and eaten in space, will also return to the station. Researchers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center planted the pak choy and Amara seeds in containers called plant pillows. But for red romaine lettuce, they inserted the seeds into a new type of seed handling material called seed fill. This water-soluble dissolving film is the same material as a breath freshener strip. It will allow the crew to plant the seeds into pillows themselves, something that has never been done in orbit before. This could allow astronauts to pick and choose what crops they want to grow from a collection of seeds on the space station. As we venture farther into space, giving astronauts the ability to store, handle, and plant a variety of fresh crops on demand will allow them to supplement their diets with fresh, nutritious produce. Seed film also may permit astronauts to grow microgreens in the future. These are small vegetables, harvested between one to two weeks after they're planted, that are packed with nutrients and flavor. The three plants for Veg03 will grow for 28 to 30 days. Then, astronauts will eat half and return the other half to Earth for analysis. This experiment will do more than provide the crew with a fresh snack. It's science being done on the world's only crewed multinational research laboratory. For almost 20 years, it's been the place where humans have learned how to live and work in space, making research breakthroughs that aren't possible here on Earth. It's those breakthroughs that will allow people to pursue deep space exploration and improve life here on Earth.